As of January 14th, the situation in Syria's northwestern, northeastern, and southern regions saw a decline in violence. However, several military and security developments were reported in the northern and central regions of the country. In the northern region, chaos continues to haunt the areas occupied by the Turkish military and its proxies. On January 13th morning, an attack with an improvised explosive device IED targeted a vehicle of the Turkish-backed Free Military Police in the Turkish-occupied town of Azaz in the northern countryside of Aleppo. Syrian opposition activists said that the vehicle was owned by the head of the disciplined department of the Free Military Police, Mohammed Aboud, who was not aboard the vehicle at the time of the attack. The attack claimed the life of a policeman who was driving a vehicle and wounded three bystanders. Minutes after the attack, Turkish-backed policemen in Azaz dismantled a second IED that was also planted under a vehicle. Later in the afternoon, two suicide bombers blew themselves up in the Turkish-occupied towns of Agab and Afrin, which are also located in the northern countryside of Aleppo. The first suicide bomber detonated his explosive belt near the vehicle of Arar al-Sham commander Mamati Kashkush in the center of Al-Bab. However, the commander survived the attack. The second bomber blew himself up near the headquarters of the Turkish-backed Army of Islam in the center of Afrin city. No casualties were reported. No group has claimed responsibility for the attacks in Azaz, Al-Bab, or Afrin as of yet. However, the style of the three attacks suggests that they were orchestrated and carried out by ISIS cells in Turkish-occupied areas. In Greater Idlib, no major ceasefire violations were reported. The situation has also been common in northeastern and southern regions. However, in central Syria, ISIS cells continue to launch attacks despite facing much pressure from Syrian government forces and their allies. On January 13th, warplanes of the Russian Aerospace Forces carried out a new round of airstrikes on ISIS hideouts in the deserts of Homs and Dayir Azor, and 11 terrorists were killed and at least 20 were wounded. The death toll from the airstrikes may rise as many of the wounded are in critical condition. On the same day, ISIS terrorists attacked positions of the pro-government National Defense Forces, NDF, near the town of al Bukamal in the southern countryside of Dayir Azor. Five NDF fighters were killed and 14 others were wounded in the attack. The terrorist group's insurgency in central Syria, which began around three years ago, will not likely end any time soon. Now Syrian government forces are reportedly preparing to launch another large-scale operation to crop the group's influence in the region with the direct support from Russia.